say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant. Every covenant. Over my life. Over my life. Every covenant, every covenant over my family, over my family, every covenant, every covenant over my loved one, over my loved one that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ, and is bringing us failure, and is bringing us failure, is bringing us pain, is bringing us pain, is bringing us defeat, and is bringing us defeat by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I shatter those altars. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every, every door. door. That has given Satan access. That, that has given Satan, Satan access. access. To visit me. To visit me. In dreams. In dreams. And encounters. And encounters. And encounters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That door is closed now. That door is closed now. Voice and pray. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from tonight's prayer. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. They are not humans. They are watchers. Yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Every stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold of my and pray.
Hallelujah. Just two more prayers and we're done tonight. Listen. Mm. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place. I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs. But if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else. But if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus I declare. I, I declare, declare that the gospel, that the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones. Reaches all my loved ones right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This last prayer point, even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going. a few minutes to really pray are we together aside from the gospels the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life listen to me if they cannot stop you from settling down they stop fruitfulness or they plant something in your child you give birth to a child who becomes something else it's not normal we are going to pray listen every sister here when it's time to pray lay your hands on your womb listen i'm blasting tongues and pray i will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit lift your voice and pray We will not put the generation of second secretary. We will not put the generation of Lucifer. We will not the generation of the Lord. We will not put the generation of the Lord. We sanctify our generation. We sanctify our daughter. Hallelujah. 
Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I decree and declare if there is anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night, molesting you, whether as animals, as humans, male or female, I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I decree and declare, let that fire separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed kapatata, of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh. and I decree and declare, let fire land on that lineage tonight. Lift your hands. While she pray, the altars of impotency, the altars of barrenness, the altars, just keep your hands lifted, of poverty, the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage, in many lineages represented here. Right now, I decree and declare. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the spirit in the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names that if there is any of those entities please listen i'm praying now i'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes that is not a pure human sent by darkness right now i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. i cause a separation between Amen. their spirits and their bodies. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If there is anything that your family should have handled today, I don't care whether it's position of influence. There are some of you where you are with your love for God, you should not be at that level now. Yes, but there is something programming your remaining there. Can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody? In the name of Jesus. Tonight, by this grace and unction, I declare to you, every entity holding you down, may the grave swallow them now. Yeah. Every entity holding you down, may the grave swallow them now. Amen. Therefore, I prophesy to you, beginning from tonight, rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power
Hallelujah. Can I prophesy over your finances? Yes, sir. Do you believe it? <laughs> the Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. He said, believe in his prophets. Don't mind this, our arrogant generation that would not listen to the word. Are we together? Let me tell you something. There is something called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you. By this time, tomorrow, I'm saying it. If you have the faith to receive, I stand in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. By this time tomorrow, may my God surprise you. By this time tomorrow, I prophesy to you. I shift things. I shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit. I command strangers. I seize their sleep. May they bless you. I instruct them. I set it as an ordinance in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the spirit. Listen. You will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow. Some of you, you will be minding yourself after the grace, just walking home. And before you reach home, you are already crying for joy and saying, what is this? What is this? Listen, if you can receive for your family, I stretch my hands. Some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day. But may my God give them a sign tonight. May my God surprise them with a sign tonight. A sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow. May my God give them a sign tonight. Listen. Listen, let me tell you something. We're rounding up. You see, before you believe a man, Go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what happened the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth this seven days was designed to change us listen tomorrow i'm going to give you some instructions huh by friday you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it let me see the devil let me see the principality except it is not god that ordained this ministry you will see what my god will do there must come a time in your life where god will shift you if you don't shift it's your fault too. let me tell you this Hallelujah. I'm praying over finances. We're rounding up already. I, I didn't plan to talk about this, but the Lord just put it in my spirit. It's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you're doing. Please. It's, it's, not, it's not a ritual. We're not playing games here. But I want to pray for people who can believe. This man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of God. The Bible says, let every man minister according to the measure of grace. Do you understand? I can look at someone and say, take 10 naira from my pocket. This is me, a man. Talk more the God of heaven. But he's helpless until someone declares. Please, just believe me once. I beg you in the name of Jesus this night. Just be, you can insult me if it doesn't happen. But just believe I want to pray again for your finances in the name of Jesus Christ I pray and I ask my God the God who has taken me by his grace the God who took this ministry by his grace I stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life 
I program a climate of strange favor over your life. I program a climate. Don't ask where it will come from. You will not see the wind. You will not see rain. But I.